I'm exhausted, but we finally made it. 20 hours of traveling, but we're finally here. We going to Sweden. Louisiana at 11:45 a.m. Central Time and I don't even know what time code we're in right now but it is 2 p.m. the next day but all in all it was 20 hours of travel all the plane rides were great uh, nothing was delayed everything was on time so that was cool I'm just exhausted because I cannot sleep on airplanes like at all every time I go through one of those little scanner machines you know the ones where you you hold up your hand they always, every single time, stop me because of my loose skin. It always says, like, on the little machine, it pops up with a yellow square right in my midsection, and it says, anomaly found. So there's a yellow dot on your little screen here. <laughs> What's going on? I done goofed up. <laughs> every time. Every time. You passed? I passed the test. <laughs> I think for the rest of this vlog, I'm just going to take you guys around. I'm recording on my phone so I hope you guys don't mind the kind of quality difference because I know that I will record more and take my phone out more to record if I'm just doing it on my phone and not trying to carry around a camera or anything like that. So I know the last time that I vlogged in Sweden I got a lot of comments that were like we want to see more of Sweden so I guess I didn't really show enough so I'm gonna try to do that this time. <laughs> But we're gonna be in Sweden for a week, and we're just here visiting her family. I'm staying, right now I'm actually in her old room, and I'm just noticing that I have this awkward plant right here in the picture. So this is good, this is a plant. We're gonna be in Sweden for a week, and then we're taking a boat to Finland to visit her other family that lives in Finland, and uh, yeah. So it's gonna be another random vlog where I just do random clips, put everything together, and we'll see what happens. I took a shower, I took a small nap, and then Maria woke me up and she was like, hey, we can't sleep anymore because if we sleep anymore, then we're not going to sleep tonight and then the sleep schedule is all going to be messed up. So that was about the hardest nap ever to wake up from because I just, I just want to go back to sleep. I'm so tired. But we decided to go ahead and come and get some food. She's over there trying to figure out how to pay for, for parking. And we are downtown in this, uh, well, I guess this is the downtown area. And I think we're going to go behind this building and go that way. And then that's going to be where this place is called Moon Tide. So this sign should give you an idea about kind of what this restaurant is. Like the bar is actually an old vehicle that they brought inside. And then everything in here is just very... Uh, very bright and shiny and colorful and and yeah. What does that say? Are you Sugin? Uh. <laughs> On a drink? <laughs> I got a beef thing and she got a chicken thing and a whole bunch of rice. Dinner was awesome and I have been so confused and just so turned around because right now it is 9.30 at night and it's not very nighttime outside. So she says the it sun doesn't, doesn't set. set. During so, the summertime in Scandinavia the sun doesn't set. You don't have these baskets. Our baskets you hold like this. What is, I know. What you is have, the point you of have this? The, you have the old baskets. It rolls on the ground. But I thought I was supposed to like grab both of these <laughs> and like hold. <laughs> no, pull it. See? Much better. Spazier and see.
wanted to take me to like this nature trail where she actually lost a lot of her her weight this is where she really started like i guess running a lot and walking yeah. and look how pretty and it's just really pretty to walk over here because i mean it's it's crazy how much more naturey it is than back home because back home it's just hot it's a lot flat. of bugs <laughs> it's flat there's no trails <laughs> Good morning. It's the next day. Not too sure what we have planned to do today. Um, I think we're just hanging out because uh, like her mom doesn't get home till tomorrow and we're just we're chilling and, and this stuff right here was breakfast and I don't know if anyone if you guys know what this is. It is so good. <laughs> and she She's 7 years old. She says that I'm 7 years old because it's like a snack for children or something like that. I don't know, but I, I tried it the last time that I came here and I was like, uh, can can we make sure we get more of that cuz that was amazing. It's like what is it? Is it r rice, rice pudding? Rice yeah. pudding with like some raspberry yeah. jelly or something? I don't know. It's it's fantastic. It's a little bright, that's why I'm squinting, but we decided to come eat lunch. We got some pizza, and uh, we, we, we wanted to come and do it on top of a mountain, because why not? It's a, it's a pizza mountain date, and that seems like a normal, a normal thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, you guys know I don't really show the food that I eat a lot of the time, just because I know people are gonna be like, oh, that's very fattening, oh, you're gonna gain weight, but I've talked about this before in one of my previous vlogs, it's like, I don't worry about what I eat when I go on trips because it, it's not going to do so much damage that I'm going to gain all my weight back or anything like that. So, yeah, we had pizza and it was tasty. Was it tasty? Mm -hmm. Big reason that I even say what I just said, you know, about that I'm not going to gain all my weight back or anything like that. It, it's because, like, I used to watch other people when I was losing weight and, and I would wonder how do they eat those foods and, and they look the way they look? And it's because I don't eat this way all the time. You have to understand that. I, you only eat like this like 2%. Yeah, I eat like this just, you know, maybe once every other week. Once, you know, it's not even something that happens as often as it may seem. But I mean, if all that I film is me eating burgers and pizza and drinking a beer or something like that, then people may get the idea that, oh, wow, you can eat all this and, and not gain weight? No. <laughs> if I would eat like this all the time, I would have been back to where I was a very long time ago. So, yeah, I stay active, I still love the gym, and then every now and then I enjoy pizza on a mountain, you know? That's not how it goes. I forgot how it goes. Day three? Is this day three? Day three, and we're at the gym in... You're gonna have to say it. She can't... I was like, how do you pronounce it? So I said, Kungelv. I say, Kung Elv. He goes, Kung Elv. Put it together. Kung Elv. Kungelv. Oh, it's... Kung... 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 <laughs> I'm done. My, I can pronounce some things, but some things just don't work. Kungelv. Kung... Kungelv. Kungelv. So we're at a Nordic wellness at that place. Just did a quick little workout, full body kind of thing since we haven't worked out in a few days. And it's pretty funny because the last year that I was here was about pretty much one year ago. I, I came and I did bench press and I went for a PR. I tried for a PR kind of accidentally because I was trying to convert things from kilograms to pounds. And well today, I actually, I mean, I, I benched I think like 20 something pounds heavier than the PR that I failed last year while I was here. So that's a pretty good feeling to come in here and be able to lift heavier than I did the previous year. Um, and, and I didn't have to have a spot or anything like that. So that was really cool. But aside from that, pretty much just did squats, deadlift, and then uh, some overhead press. Quick little workout, because we don't have much time and I spent a little bit too much time trying to work my way up on the bench press. So wanted to record a few things, get this in, and now, 
I have no idea what we're doing today. I'm thinking that most of the rest of today is gonna be spent with family and just hanging out and that's pretty much it. Now this is the Sweden that I remember from last year. Constantly raining, gray sky. <laughs> Welcome to Sweden. You have a fan club. <laughs> so many doggos. All the doggos. A small doggo is a pupper. And a small, small pupper is a yapper. This is a doggo. A small doggo is a pupper. Here's a sad pupper. But a big old pupper, that's actually a doggo. Sometimes a pupper is a real small pupper and that's a yapper. But then it grows up to be a big old yapper and that's a pupper. Funny story, this morning I went to go and shave because I'm, I'm starting to get some neck beard action and, and you know this is starting to look a little rough but it's just a small electric trimmer and I have like a little adapter that makes a, a United States plug into a European plug so I plugged it in and flipped the switch and as soon as I flipped it on all the lights went off. And I was like, oops. I was pretty worried that I, I messed something up because I, I didn't know that, you know, the wattage difference or anything like that. Everything's okay now. I didn't break the house. <laughs> I thought I may have messed up some, uh, some wiring or something, but it's okay. I know this video is probably getting pretty long by now, so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Appreciate everyone watching. I will continue to vlog over the time that I'm gonna be here, and then we're going to be in Finland, so I will continue vlogging and show you guys like everything that, that we're doing. It's just that I, I don't wanna have like a 20 minute long video. So I will see you guys in the next video. If you're still watching, please do me a favor, go on down, drop a like on the video. It helps me know that you guys enjoy these vlogs so that I can continue to make them. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. Peace.